Here is a first year 1947 mint set issued to collectors. The first one, the first year. I'm going to reveal this set in this video, so stay tuned. Here's my website, porchmouthcoinshop.com, and I have a couple auctions up for the red fields that I had left over that I didn't have graded. They're really nice coins, a couple of them. They have some real good toning on them, real nice toning on the reverse. I still have some of these Paramount coins left. Um, they're not the red field. I um, also have this nice Canadian fractional set. I have a lot of uh, raw coins up, large cents and trade dollars, and then graded coins and Morgan dollars. Some really nice stuff we put up, so check out PortsmouthCoinShop.com. And then come over here to MintState.com, and you can check out um, sold auctions and from Heritage and eBay and PCGS, um, as well as NGC price guides, and see how much your coins are worth. Just by clicking on a date, you can add it to your collection. So come over here to MintState.com. So I bought this mint set and I want to reveal it. I want to show everybody. But first, before I do that, I want to talk about these sets in general. They're huge. I mean, look at this. There are a lot of coins in these sets. And we're going to talk about what's actually in these sets and the values. So over on CoinAuctionsHelp.com, I have a little chart with values and exactly what's in these in the mintages. And this is a pretty cool little chart that I put together. It took me a little bit of time and research to make sure I got it exactly right. But when you're looking at this, 28 coins is in this set. Do you see it right here? And only 5,000 minted. I mean, and you know as well as I do that that's not how many exist today. People have opened these up and they have sent them off and they've had them graded. And who knows how many's left in the original packaging and as you'll see, this is all original. I mean, it's been opened, obviously, but the coins are all there. And they've not been touched in any way, shape, or form. And how you know that is that the coins will be toned. You, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So we'll, let's move forward real fast and look at this. That tells you what the face value is in the whole set. $4.46. And then you have $4.10 in uh, silver face. So here's the value, $1,550. And uh, Gray Sheet has it at $1,200. And I think Red Book has it at about, oh, I don't know, I think 1500 But that value, we don't really know for sure because none have sold on Heritage since 2019, almost two years, okay, as a complete intact set. The last one was sold for 1200 which was Gray Sheet. The buyer is asking for 1800 PCGS has them listed as graded, probably meant state 65, I would say, or 64, whatever, the, the low-tier grade they have on it would be... 2200 to me i thought the sets looked like they were worth at least 1500 to 2000 i mean if they're in the original envelope so these are probably a little undervalued even though you can see all these other prices it's really unbelievable that they would sell for this much but you see that they don't come up for auction very often i mean if this was 19 as well uh in january a little bit earlier than these two and another thing you have to think about since 2020 and into this year Coin values, as far as the coin value charts and price guides, I mean, they're all just out of sync because of the demand. And the prices of everything has gone up as far as coins are concerned. Graded coins and mint sets and proof sets, I mean, the demand is there. It's been very healthy. So these values, these sold auctions here, you just can't go buy them since they're two years old. So you have to go buy what you think it's worth now, what you think that it would go for now. I think there's a few up on stacks. So... We'll see what those bids end up at, and I'll, I'll check on that and see how that goes. So let's uh, take a look at this set here. So we're going to reveal it. First off, it came like this, and I bought it. And here's the back, and it's a little torn. It's, the envelope is not in great shape, and I don't have one to replace it. So you take this out, and this is what they look like right here. And that's why they toned, because they had this, this cardboard. But here's the first, second, and third. We're going to look at um, three different... Uh, holders here there's all three of them i'm trying to look at the things and look at the camera too but anyway this is just beautiful i mean i you got to be careful though too because but look try to get these coins i mean they are and here's the walking liberty half dollar they are very beautiful coins now like i said i could guess and say the 47 uh, the uh, walking every half dollars looks 65 to me. You know, I, like I said, and I can send them off and I get a 64 <laughs> or a 66. 
you can't see the reverse of them unless you take them out. Well, this tissue is so thin, you have to be careful if you to take them out. I'm not going to um, handle them at the moment to take them out to show you because we've got three of them to look at anyways because there's so many coins in it. And I mean, it's just, look how beautiful. I mean, I really was impressed with the set. And like I said, I bought it from another dealer. I've always wanted a 47 set. And I thought, you know, this is a good opportunity for me just to buy it because I've never owned the 47 set. I've owned earlier sets in the 40s, but never owned the 47 set itself. And it's just the first year, you know, like I said, it's the first year they issued mint sets to collectors uh, from the U.S. Mint. They, you know, I'm sure you can put together mint sets from any year, but these here were put together by the U.S. Mint and issued especially for collectors. Here's the... Someone's got them turned around here. I mean, you can take them out and put them back in. You just have to be careful. But like I said, everything's always toned in these sets. You know, and this is one of the things when I talk about value. There are some things that you, the price guides and auction results, if, if you see this set and you like it, it's worth what you were willing to pay for it. And don't get me wrong. If you pay over, you know, 1500 for a set like this, it, it might be a little, little more than you should. Because, I mean, that, that's retail. But if it's choice and these coins look like they're going to grade out and you go through and you grade each coin and you put a price list of how much they're worth, you'd be really surprised. I mean, we, we can actually do that because when you think about and you go to the price guide, this, the walking Liberty half dollars are the ones that's going to be worth the money. That's the money coins anyway. So we can come over here and take a look at those themselves. And this also 47 was the last year for the walking Liberty half dollar as well. So you have the 47 and the 47 D. And if they grade 66, you can see $225, $185. If you were to get one that graded 1500 for a 67, if you could get a 67, which I'm not saying you could, but I mean, that's the whole value of the set. But a lot of people, that's what they do. I mean, they look for, you know, 67. They hope they can get that. I don't think they're 67, so you really want to go by that. But the thing of it is, is you have four of these walking liberty halves in here okay it's a double mint set so you know if you get the 66 or 65 i mean you're talking you know 400 dollars uh basically or a little over 400 dollars retail value for just the four and of course you got grading fees and everything in it so probably you know the 1500 is probably going to be the max on it unless you really think you've got a 66 or a 67 or something special and of course you got the quarters of Quarters with a mint mark of 47. I mean, not worth a whole lot, but you can always come over to the price guides over here at uh, PCGS and you can take a look at even with the Washington quarters in the 1947s. And you can see what they're, they're worth here. I mean, if, you know, you're going to have to get a really high grade for them to be worth something, but you know, then you got your grading fees. So it's probably not one of the sets that you want to send off and, and look at it really close. There's just no guarantee that you're going to get, you know, really good grade out of them. And to me, it's best to keep this set intact. So I'm probably going to ask, I don't know, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars, probably fifteen hundred. I think I'm going to ask retail for it myself. The reason is because if I don't sell it, I'd rather keep it. Honestly, I've never owned it before, and you know, it's going to stay in this um, envelope and all this uh, cardboard, even though I really don't like the way it toned up on them. You know, it, they're still nice though. Just the toning's a little dull for me, but I, I mean, man, they're original. They've never been touched, so that's how I want to keep them. <laughs> so, thanks for watching my latest video. I hope you enjoyed these coins. Um, that you know, like I said, they're just they're wonderful, beautiful coins, and a rare set with only five thousand minted. So hit the sub button if you like videos like this, and have a great day.